Tim here from the Bloody Mix again. So as we can see, I've got the my MC172, which is what I've been using as a test platform for my RG Pilot, uh, which is a blast. And I've seen several videos about adding a joystick to the back or a joystick off to the side uh, so that you could actually run an FPV camera just by grabbing another joystick. And in some discussion with John, John says, wouldn't it be cool if you kick the APM into loiter mode and then hit another switch which would remap the right stick so that it would then become your camera gimbals while the plane is flying itself. So it could be in auto mode, it could be in loiter mode, uh, it could be doing a lot of different things with the autopilot while you're over here looking around just doing whatever you want. Uh, since I was going completely crazy with trying to figure out how to mix different things and catch it on a little bit, I thought what a great thing to teach myself more and see if I can do it. And I did. So here we see channel two, my aileron. And then we got channel three, my elevator. If I reach up and I hit my aileron dual rate switch, which is just what it's labeled as because we can map everything to anything we want. So I flip that. And now it's over here. It's on channel seven and eight. Let's have a look at my mix. There are some great, great videos out there on setting up that six position switch. So I'm not going to do one, but I will cruise real slow. So if you're just dying to use my video, there's the settings, pause it. Get a screenshot. Okay, we're done. Okay. So we can see my channel 7 and 8 mix right here. 100% aileron source. 100% elevator source. And the switch for both of those channels is aileron. Without the exclamation point. When we go up... Yeah, it's that easy. When we go up... 100% aileron source, 100% elevator source, exclamation aileron. You want to set it up this way because that's going to be your, the exclamation point is always your default forward position or down. Now, if you like to call it that, I don't like to call it down because if I tip the radio up and I look over the top of it like this because I'm standing, then down's the other way. So I like to call it away or towards. Um, so this is the default position that lets you turn your radio on. The away position is always the exclamation point. So the away uh, gives me my regular control. And then the non-exclamation remaps it to the other two channels. And now I don't need a joystick to, uh, to run something. Now if I want to if I'm insist insistent on I'm going to fly the plane uh, with one thumb and then grow another thumb or reach around to the back uh, and install a joystick onto the back of here and be able to use both of them at the same time, uh, I can do that. But if I just want the plane to fly itself with the APM, I can flip this and I can remap it. And I figure for robotics projects or maybe RC tanks or who knows what kind of gadgetry around the house, uh, that feature is going to be invaluable. Um, of course, one might also argue we can already go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, potentiometer based servo controls. And if, if you find a 16 channel transmitter and receiver for it, by all means, let me know because I want one. Uh, that's all I've got for this. That's all I've got for mixing as of today. If I figure out something else, um, I'll be sure to do it.